Well, good morning, the Buzz family. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller, and uh, this morning I'm coming to you with uh, the bad news that happened last night in uh, the eastern part of uh, the country. Now, just four days ago, I reported about an attack by gunmen on a police post in Chanja, right here in Kampala. However, no police officer was hurt and uh, no guns were stolen. Now, the latest update coming in from uh, the eastern part of the country, Jinja in particular, indicates that one UPDF soldier on the rank of sergeant was shot dead last night and uh, two guns taken away. This attack was confirmed by the Minister for Presidency, that is uh, Honorable Miley Babalanda. I strongly condemn the bloody attack on innocent cops on duty in Jinja this evening. These cowardly attacks of terror will be defeated like all others. Let's be vigilant and uh, report bad elements. Now, Uganda police has also confirmed the incident. However, their official statement indicates that this time around, the assailants didn't attack a police officer, but uh, they attacked a UPDF soldier. Please ignore reports that two police officers were attacked and uh, killed in Jinja by unknown armed assailants. The alleged attack was against a UPDF officer manning the entry checkpoint at Gaddafi Barracks who was killed and uh, two guns robbed. The cowardly attack is being investigated. Well, I must say uh, this is very scary. Uh, these guys are now shifting from attacking police posts, uh, you know, to now attacking UPDF barracks. It's really getting out of hand and uh, many Ugandans right now have a feeling that these guys, first of all, they know what they are doing. Yes, they must be trained because a civilian cannot attack a UPDF soldier at the checkpoint of any barracks. Yes, they can't. Other people are saying that maybe these attackers must be cooking up something unusual. It could be a rebel group or something. Yes, so uh, that is the situation right now in uh, the country. But let's look at the attacks on security by gunmen in a span of two and a half weeks. On the 10th October last month, these assailants attacked Busika police post, killed two officers, they injured two, and uh, two guns were stolen. On the 14th November this month, there was an attack in Chanja, but no officer was injured and uh, no guns were stolen. Well, on the 17th November, that is yesterday in Jinja, one sergeant was killed and uh, two guns were stolen. So these guys, in a period of two weeks, they have succeeded on their missions with uh, four guns. Anyway, let's leave this matter to security. Uh, we hope that uh, serious investigations have kicked off. Otherwise, this seems to be a very, very organized crime. I'll keep you posted on this matter, uh, what you have to do. Be a part of the Buzz family by subscribing and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and uh, it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.